Hi, George here. Photoshop Elements 2023 has added in some new backgrounds. Into the Guided Edit Change Background tool, let's go ahead and take a look and see what we've got. Okay, go into Guided Edits. It's over here under Special Edits, and right there, Replace Background. Okay, click on this, and we'll see what we have over here on our options. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to select out the foreground subject. I'll try just the Select Subject button and say, well, this does, this works out pretty well, especially on something like this. And there we go. That looks real nice. Nice clean selection. That's fine. We can then choose a new background, import a photo, or we can come down here, none, color. And what I'm curious about are these new presets in here. And here we go. Here are some of these new interesting background presets. This is what's new here. Let's just go ahead. We'll try one of these. I think I'll try that one. Let's see how that looks. Interesting. You can't really see these lines in the thumbnail, so you'll have to try each one. Not too bad. Kind of fun look to that one. That's pretty good as well. And we'll give them all a try and see which one we like the best. Did that one already. Here's that image and it's an advertising poster. Don't care for that one or that one or that one right there. I think we'll go with this one here, possibly that. And I think we'll go with this one right there. There we go. Okay, choose okay. So there it is. There's our new background so you can play with inside of the change background. And it does a great job. And of course, the select subject is very good at pulling your subject, which makes this a very easy to use tool. And once we've done that, we can come down here and you have a few more options at the move tool, change your position of your foreground or background subject. We can refine the edge if we need to, don't need to in here. We can auto match our color tone. Again, not needed for this particular image. Come down to next and choose where you want to go with this. After this, either save it, save as, print it out to Fujifilm Prints and GIFs, go over to Flickr or Twitter. Or what I normally do is just go to in expert mode, take it back over to expert, and then I can do whatever I want over here. Notice how the background comes in as a separate layer right here, which means at this point I can change this to anything else that I want as well. So I have that additional option once I'm inside of expert mode. As always with these guided edits, we don't have as many options as I would like in here, but it's not bad. There are quite a few. Now, if you want to have more options, of course, you can change the background using our graphics. Now, if you do that, I like to always preserve my original image. So here is how you do that. Come down here, right click on background, choose duplicate layer, choose OK. This is now my safety. I'm just going to name this one safety. I'll hide that one. So if I mess up, I can always come back to that one image. We can now change our background. I'll hide this one up here, change our background. We already have the overlay taken care of here. So come down to graphics and we're by type, which is right here and backgrounds right here. And all of these backgrounds are available to use in that same location. Let's just find something kind of interesting. Maybe some fall colors right down here. I'll try this one. There we go. Do one more in here, something a bit different. Try that one there. And there it is. Go back over to layers and you'll see how this now has changed the background to that new look. If you want to try something else and still keep this one here, easy to do. Use that same trick, right click where it says background, duplicate the layer, choose OK, hide that layer and then come down and change your background again. Let's just try something different. I'll go for this one right here. There we go. Back to our layers and I can now try those different layers in here. So here's that layer. There's that layer. Here's this layer. So I now have some options. But using that initial option up here to change your background saved me some time. And we do have some fun choices in there that are not available over there in the graphics backgrounds. Okay, if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe. Check out my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. The link for that is right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.